Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a little bit over a week since I posted and I feel so bad because I try to really stay consistent on my channel and honestly just pregnancy got the best of me. Uh, I have been so sick with morning sickness, um, just really really exhausted, I had no energy to film anything and that's basically my excuse. I mean <laughs> at the end of the day that's, I have nothing else to say about it but um, yeah, I am going to be doing my, I want to say, when was the last time I updated? 11 weeks? So my 12 to 15 week update. I'm currently 16 weeks and 5 days pregnant. 4 days pregnant. 16 weeks and 3 days pregnant. I don't know. You guys, at this point, I remember with all of my babies, I kept track of every week and now it's just like flying by. I'm 16 weeks and like 3 or 4 days, okay? I'm going to be updating you guys on week 12 through 15th. Um, I was going to do these very regularly and weekly, but honestly, I've just realized all of my symptoms are basically the same. Nothing really has changed. Nothing drastic has happened. Um, if you guys didn't watch my last video, I'm going to link it somewhere up here. You guys should check it out because we found out the gender of this baby. I don't want to spoil it if you haven't watched it, so make sure to click the video and come back to this one. I'm going to give you guys like a second to do that. Okay, but we found out at week 15 that we are having a baby girl uh, This is our second girl. We have a boy and a little girl. So the girls have outnumbered this household <laughs> um, Throughout my entire pregnancy. I want to say after 12 weeks I start or 11 weeks. I started feeling like it was a certain gender. I really started feeling like it was a girl and I don't know what it is. I've always had this feeling with both of my kids and I've always been right I always say moms <laughs> We know. So I thought it was a girl. A lot of people thought I was actually going to have a boy, surprisingly. Most of my family thought it was going to be a boy. My husband thought it was also going to be a boy towards the end. So it was a little bit of a surprise for a lot of people that I was having a girl. I don't know why, but it was. And I'm so excited, you guys. Emilia's going to have a sister. I never had a sister, and I've always wanted a sister. So for me, it was so special to know Emily's gonna have a sister. It is also kind of sad because Ethan really wanted a baby brother and unfortunately we have no control over that so um it's really sad that he won't really be having one because we don't plan on having any more kids. We don't plan on having any more children so he's basically gonna be the only boy and what's even sadder, or not sadder, I mean it is what it is. It's life. I was raised around all boys so I know what it's like to be the only one of my gender, being the only girl. So Ethan will experience that because I only have girl nieces. My brothers have yet to have kids, they're very young and probably won't have any kids for the next like 10 years, I wanna say. Um, so by the time my brothers have any children, Ethan will be a lot older. It's really just us and then my husband's brother and my sister-in-law, so they have two girls and they're no longer having any more children, so we, now we're going to have two girls. Ethan's going to be the only boy, so he's only going to have girl cousins for right now. I don't know uh, why my brothers will eventually have one day in the future, but they're very young. So there's we're not even talking about that right now because one is in the Navy and the other one is in college. So none of them are about to have any babies. It's a little bit sad because he really expressed wanting a little boy and... We couldn't give that to him, but he's actually really happy about it now. He talks to the baby. He says how much he loves her, and obviously he's going to be the best big brother, and he is just such a loving little boy that I know he's going to be the best, and he's going to love his sisters no matter what. So we're just trying to have fun with it. We promised we would get him a dog eventually, Um, because that we felt really bad. So we're like, do you want a puppy? So he'll probably have a dog and, and the dog will probably be a boy just so he could be like, I have my brother. So yeah, that we will cross that bridge when we get there. I'm not a pet person. A lot of people know this, but I am willing to sacrifice for my kids. <laughs> Let's talk about week 12 and 14 before I talk about week 15 when we found out we were having a girl. So from week 12 to 14, honestly, you guys, it's when nausea really, really hit me um, really badly. So I was throwing up almost every single day at this point and I felt miserable. I had I still feel a little bit like that, but not as much, but I had no energy to do anything. My house was literally upside down. I just want to say thank you to my husband because he really 
I was really patient with me because I didn't do anything. I hardly cooked or did anything because I felt that sick and I'm not like that normally. I'm very active around my house. I like cook and clean and I play with my kids. But these, I think those past three weeks were just miserable for me. I was literally in bed throwing up. Um, I had zero energy. So it was really, really tough for me. I want to say at around week 14 it got a little bit better and I finally just now started getting most of my energy back um, I do have my days where I feel really really sick and that's no fun but I mean that comes with pregnancy it is definitely very different this time around because with both of my kids it was actually the opposite it was um, morning sickness after week like six or seven all the way till 12 weeks except with Amelia I was like sick throughout my entire pregnancy but I realized with this baby, I didn't start getting sick till after I hit about 10 weeks. So that was a little bit weird. On week 14, I started feeling a lot of round ligament pain, which I did not start feeling with any of my kids. So after 25 weeks, which this was very different for me, um, but I started feeling a lot of pain. I have a lot of um, just pain down there, you guys. It honestly feels like there's a lot of pressure there. Um, not when I, I'm active, but just kind of when I'm moving around in bed or anything, I kind of feel a little bit of that pain and soreness there. So I, it's definitely different this time around because I didn't start feeling this kind of pain until after I was further along, but I started feeling this at 14 weeks and it's actually been the same since then. So I don't know. I think it's just cause it's my third baby and I've heard with every pregnancy, um, it just comforts comfortability wise it gets worse so i guess my uterus is just overworking this time and i'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable it's not to the point where i can't do anything or i can't be active it normally just hits me at nighttime when i'm trying to move around toss back and forth that's when it kind of hits me and i have like muscle pains and it wakes me up a little bit so that's pretty much when I really notice it. As far as showing, um, I am a bigger girl. I have a stomach and I'm curvy. I'm, I'm pretty much plus size. So I don't have like the, um, I don't have the body I had when I was pregnant with Ethan. I was very thin. I felt like I actually was able to do a lot of pictures and belly shots but this time around I just really don't feel like I have a lot to show for it however I have noticed an increase in my belly um, I've had to now start wearing maternity pants not so much tops I'm fine with the tops they have but um, because the baby is growing it has moved everything kind of up and my belly or my stomach is just kind of bulging now and it, I definitely feel like I look a lot further along than I am because I am bigger but um i definitely do consider it a baby bump i i'm starting to really if i press hard enough <laughs> i could actually feel my uterus a little bit um if you've been pregnant you know what i'm talking about if you're not you haven't been pregnant that probably sounds really really weird but as you grow and weeks go by your uterus starts growing and you can actually feel it a little bit so i know it's my uterus but i know it has kind of moved everything up my stomach and all of that up so i feel like i look like six seven months pregnant when in reality i'm only four months but um, that's because I'm just a bigger girl and that's okay. Um, as far as weight gain goes, I've only gained seven pounds. And I'm 16 weeks pregnant. So I've only gained seven pounds. So not too bad. My doctor hasn't really complained about it. So that's good. Um, because I'm already overweight and bigger, they don't really want me to gain a whole lot of weight. They just want me to just gain baby weight, the baby to grow. So I've been pretty good on that end. So yeah, so I had to buy a ton of maternity clothes. And not a ton, I bought like three pants and some tops at Ross, which I actually really do like their maternity clothes. But um, if you guys could leave me some more suggestions in the comments below of where I can find good denim, because I do like the Ross ones, which I'm actually wearing right now. But you do get what you pay for and the quality is not the best and they actually roll down after walking for a while which you have to constantly start pulling up and maybe it's just because not my belly is not big enough yet to fit into them but um there's just not a lot of support so if you guys can leave me a comment where i can find good denim jeans let me know because um i think i want to at least invest in one or two pairs I thought I wasn't going to this pregnancy. I told myself I wasn't going to buy any expensive maternity clothes. Uh, I donated all of mine with Amelia. So I really didn't want to this time around. But 
I mean, I'm at a point where I'm okay with having to do that because it's just really uncomfortable to have to constantly pull up my pants because they keep like rolling down. So at week 15, we found out the gender. We went to an ultra, an early ultrasound scan. We actually had to pay for it. But here, you don't find out the gender until you go to your anatomy scan. And that is at 19 to 20 weeks or 18 to 20 weeks that they do that scan so i didn't want to wait that long even though it's only a few more weeks my anatomy scan is actually in two weeks uh yeah in two and a half weeks so i didn't want to wait so long i wanted to find out as soon as i could so we decided to pay for it and um we went to the same place we went to find out what we had with amelia which they were correct we had a gender reveal as you guys um saw in my last video and it was honestly the best decision i made i actually regretted it minutes after i was like why did i decide to throw this party why am i doing this because not knowing was really hard for me i am i don't like surprises i'm a planner i don't i like to just know right off the bat and this was definitely something out of my comfort zone but i did it mainly for my husband he wanted it to be a surprise and he wanted to do things a little bit differently but um vanessa ended up doing our gender reveal for us or not doing it for us but she was the only one who knew the gender and set everything up so that was really cool um and it was really nice because for two whole days I did not talk to her because I just couldn't. Like, curiosity was just killing me. And we found that I was a girl and honestly, it was very emotional. I actually had a comment of someone asking me why I was so emotional if I already have a girl. And it's because it's my child. At the end of the day, if it were a boy, I would have probably been as emotional because regardless of the gender, I'm happy and I'm excited and it's always a surprise even if you feel like it's a certain gender it's still a surprise <laughs> like you still feel this like shock and you I don't know how to explain it I think the only way you could understand is if you have children um, but regard even though I knew in my heart what the gender was it still catches you off guard and you're still like in shock I'm actually gonna answer a question or two questions you guys have asked a lot and that is what baby girl's name is going to be if it's going to start with um the letter e like both of my kids and um the room situation or how we're going to basically live in a three-bedroom house with four kids so the first question i'm going to answer is baby girl's name i will be revealing the name I don't know when yet, uh, maybe in a few weeks or in a few months. I don't know. Whenever I feel like <laughs> revealing it, we do have a name for her. We've had this name picked out for a, quite a while. And uh, it is going to be with an E because that we just have to keep it going, guys. Like, I have an Ethan and Amelia. It just made sense to us to just keep the E theme going. I will say, though, for boys, that was going to be a, a, a hard one. We may even have had to break that because I could not find an E name that I really, truly loved for a boy. But um, we already had the girl name picked out, first and middle name for her. So... We will be doing a reveal on that hopefully in the next few months or so i don't know i'm not gonna wait till i have her because i want to just be able to call her by her name and all of that but um i just want to make sure i set up everything and i'm gonna do a really cute name reveal so you guys will find out soon i promise <laughs> as far as the room situation goes you guys you don't always need a uh, separate room for each kid okay kids can share rooms and that's what's gonna happen Amelia will share with the baby for the meantime until we can purchase a new house um, I don't know when that will be and honestly we're not in a rush to move I actually about six months ago I really wanted to move I kind of wanted a bigger house but at the end of the day we got an amazing deal for this house and our payments are very low so moving right now just it would just financially we could do it but we would just be paying more money and i like living the life i have and i like having the freedom to go out and spend money when i want to spend money and go on vacation and just have kind of that financial freedom i mean we're not rich or anything but we have kind of like this freedom of being able to do a lot of things during the weekends and go out and eat and go on vacation and do, do the little things that matter to us it would be doable for us but it would just be a huge sacrifice financially and it's just not something we're willing to do at this moment i grew up in a two-bedroom house in new york city 
and it wasn't even a second bedroom it was an attic and i lived in there with both of my brothers so i know what it's like to live in a home with no room no space no privacy whatsoever my kids are living the life you guys this to me is luxury all the way like i know people have certain standards and want to live a certain lifestyle and i I am all for that. I obviously don't want to live here forever. We know this is not our forever home. We eventually want to move into a newer home and a little bit more updated. You know, this house is very old and we've had to put a lot of money into it and invest um, just a lot of into it. But I know what it's like to come from almost having nothing to be able to give my kids their own bedrooms is luxury itself so i'm sure the girls can share for a few years they probably won't even remember it by the time we move into a newer house where they would have their own bedrooms but i mean i would have honestly i shared with two boys and i'm fine today and i don't hold it against anybody so i'm sure my kids will be fine but it's something we eventually do want to do and we do want to move when the time is right in the next year or two i don't know i don't want to put a time or a date to it because things change and honestly one day my husband and i want to do this and then the next day we want to do this we don't really know what we want to do but we know that we're comfortable where we are right now we're comfortable living here and it is what it is my kids will just have to share ethan will have his own room because we feel like it's only fair him being the only boy um but we are going to be switching the bedrooms because ethan's room is actually a lot bigger and it'll be better for the girls and ethan will be getting amelia's room so we're going to be completely redoing the entire all both of their bedrooms which is going to be really fun and i can't wait to show that to you guys but i know that was one of my biggest questions is where is the baby gonna sleep the baby's gonna sleep with us for the first three to four five months and then she will share with Amelia but um that's basically it they're gonna share a room I'm really excited about it I can't wait to really like decorate their rooms and make them look really nice and whenever the time comes that we decide to move or buy a new house and either rent this one out then I will let you guys know but for right now we're pretty content here we're comfortable here we've put a lot of time and money and a lot of sweat and tears into this house to just like get rid of it and move out As those are the two questions i've gotten asked is baby name and basically the space and room arrangements we're gonna have here and that's just how it's gonna work and i'm okay with that i lived in the smallest freaking house you can live in in new york because if you are from new york you know homes there are very very small and very very expensive so my parents didn't have much and we lived in the tiniest home you could live in and my husband does come from a pretty big house it's actually a three-story house five bedrooms four bedrooms i don't know point is we come from two different worlds but we're okay with this space it kind of meets in the middle for both of us and yeah i hope this pregnancy update helped you guys a lot i'm gonna now talk about baby girl because i know i've just been ranting and ranting and that's because i waited so long to make this update for you guys <laughs> and i feel so bad but i promise i'm gonna get back into my youtube game and try to just talk more about baby because because i also want to document this for myself and i also want to look back at this and remember all of this so i don't want to have any regrets looking back that i didn't film it or update as much but this is what baby looks like hold on there we go so she is this is week 15 you guys she's 4.02 inches and 2.5 ounces so she is a tiny tiny little thing but she is hiccuping and moving around and kicking even though i still have not felt movement you guys i thought i would feel movement by now but i haven't and i don't know but i've been able to check with my doppler and i know she's fine i haven't felt her yet but the, it says that she's moving she's very active she basically looks like an entire baby but obviously she still has a lot more developing to do. So yeah, guys, that's all for these three weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next pregnancy update or in my next video because my next pregnancy update will probably be in a few weeks. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.